there was very, very, very impressive streams from San Diego Studios yesterday. I'm serious. I've never been more serious with how impressive those streams were. I mean, if you guys didn't see the streams, then, well, for one, I recommend you do so, and I will leave uh, the link to SDS's Twitch page, because I'm, I'm telling you, man, you will not regret looking at them, or watching them, looking at them. So pretty much, what they discussed in these live streams was... Uh, defensive, well, the ones, the things that I took out from that, that was the best, was the defensive stuff. First thing they talked about was, out of position. They were saying that if you, you know, if you use, like, catchers and stuff out of position, they will rarely make a play, probably never. I mean, you gotta be insane anyway to play a catcher anywhere but behind the plate. I couldn't help but think when I was watching all of these live streams. I, well for one, I couldn't help but think, damn, I need a haircut. I look like a moose with this haircut right now. Like, actually, wait a minute. How do you look like a moose? Is that even possible? That didn't make any sense. Wouldn't be a video from me if everything said didn't make any sense. But what do they what do they say? Out of position is pretty much done. You, you, like it's it's almost at the point now where it's like you can't even use players out of position, even if like they were second baseman. Or wait, hold on, let me rephrase that. They mean like if you have a, a left fielder and you try to play him at first base, he's not gonna be able to play first base. And if you have a first baseman and you try to play him in the outfield, hide him in left field or something, that's that's that will not happen. That was the first thing they discussed. I think the second thing they discussed was. Probably the most important thing. Defensive changes. I, like, I've never walked away from a stream that they did. I've been watching SDS do live streams for two years now. Before, before 17 came out and before 18. I never remember walking away from a stream. I don't think I even... I, I just think I walked around like this the rest of the day. Like, I'm serious. I don't even think I spoke a word. I think I was literally walking around like this. Eyes wide open, mouth or uh, jaw dragging on the ground just because I couldn't believe what the hell I just saw. Everything that was on the list and what they discussed and fixed is what the community wanted to be fixed. My favorite feature is how you can read balls off the wall. Now, if you did see the stream, you saw that if, you know, you have somebody good in the outfield, they have the diamond emblem below them, and if they're bad, it's like the, the rating system. If they're bad fielders, they'll have like a common, or whatever their overall is for fielding, they'll have that below their feet, like the shield, so you know if they're gonna be fucking up in the outfield. We'll see this like line, and it will tell you where the ball is going to go off the wall. Is that not stand the hell up and jump through the ceiling worthy of a fucking clap? That made me actually just want to just crab walk around for a week hearing that. That is the greatest news I've ever heard, maybe. That and the fact that there's going to be like no more base running cheese. Well, that's that's something we're going to have to wait and see. From what they're saying, base running cheese is no longer. That thing is in the abyss. I mean, I'm sorry again, but I can't. I, I don't think I can even show anything besides screenshots. I don't want to get my ass in trouble again. Like, am I fucking allowed to even do this? I don't even know if I'm allowed to do this. I don't want to be tombstone pile drived off a fucking ladder. Like, I, I want to be, you know, I want to be safe. I, I mean, realistically, showing the actual clips wouldn't even really make sense to me because they, they, they discuss what they're talking about over the clips. So, I mean, if, you, if I'm just rambling over the clips, you're going to be like, all right, what the fuck's going on here? Why is there an idiot on the on the screen talking? Reading balls off the wall. No more base running cheese. More urgency from fielders. Even though that was like, you know, a main focus in the past too. It seemed like there was still situations you would get yourself in. Or not get yourself in. It's almost like the game wouldn't allow it. You have a very bad fielder. He's going to get bad jumps. Not every time, but sometimes he's going to get very bad reads. 
Like, if you're in left field, J.D. Martinez is one of the ones they showed. J.D. was getting horrible reads, bat off the ball. And I feel like, you know, like, there's going to be a situation where it's like it's the bottom of the ninth and it's a tie game. Here's a ball that could possibly be made or caught. God almighty. Words. If you want to risk using a bad fielder, then it's almost like that's your own fault if you get a bad jump or something like that, which I guess makes sense. But I mean, that's going to be a huge buzzkill if you use somebody with bad fielding. Obviously, they're probably going to have amazing, like JD. He's probably going to have amazing hitting stats, terrible fielding stats. You don't want to be in one of those situations where it's a crucial moment and he gets a bad read or something. I don't think there was one thing that I took away from that stream that was bad. And like I said, the last two years I was watching streams from SDS, man, there was some things I was walking around like, wait a minute, what is this? How, how many times were you watching that stream, if you watched it, did you say yes? Like after they said something? Like 10? Everything discussed made sense, everything discussed wasn't bullshit? It was, it was impressive. I'm not, you know, just saying this. Like, I, I firmly, 100% am truly impressed by those streams yesterday. I don't blame people for being skeptical. Some people I, I see on Twitter and stuff are like, all right, everyone hold the brakes here. Everybody relax. We still have to wait and see, which I guess makes sense. But it seems like this is the year where they're actually caring about what people say. Hitting too, I didn't really discuss hitting that much. I mean, there was only a couple of things I think they discussed with hitting. Like there's gonna be, there's gonna be like a new timing. Like it's, it's not just gonna be good, good now. It's gonna be good and squared up. So that's gonna be like the, the best swing that you can possibly get. Good squared up, good, good is just gonna be like, I think, what do they say, above, a little bit above average or something. So if you're just like a little bit above average on the ball, it's gonna be good, good. And if you're right on it, it's gonna be good squared up. Contact hitters too is what they also showed. They showed a couple of clips of Tony Gwynn, just contact hitters, hitters with no power. They were hitting, they were hitting line drives to the gap, like hard line drives, not just little, bleeders that were just landing they were hitting line drives landing ahead of the outfielders pitch speeds is also going to be a huge difference from what i gathered from that it's it's like almost pitch speed is going to increase as the difficulty raises so if you're like whatever rating it's going to be in diamond dynasty this year and you're playing on legend difficulty the pitch speed is going to be faster than what it was on like all-star from what i gathered i don't know what else there is to say i was just so excited about the defensive changes and the cheese taken away like that was pretty much the two things that i took away the cheese base running cheese taken away and just reading balls off the wall like that's it for me is anyone else as happy as me when they saw that you can now read balls off the wall like that's just incredible man i can't wait anyway that might be it uh yeah, it's time to wrap it up. I'll see you guys next time.